Hi everybody, welcome to Crochet at the Lantern this week and for our beginners tutorial this week we will be learning how to do a half treble crochet and for the more advanced crochet group we will be learning how to do um, the rice stitch so just another stitch to add to your stitch library for yourselves um, and then as the weeks go on for the beginner we will start using the three basic stitches that we've learned in the past three weeks and we'll start a small little project so any questions again that you have after this week's tutorial please feel free to forward them to Jura Karina at the Lantern and again we will always do our best to get back to you as soon as possible. So I hope you enjoy this week's tutorials. Hi everybody we're going to get started this week um, on our half treble crochet a new stitch so this will be the third stitch that you've learned with crochet at the Lantern um, and this is what it looks like up close if I just move it back a little bit you can see it there. So it's just a ver different version of um, the treble crochet, the stitch that you learned the very first week. So we'll just go back through the stitches we've learned so far. So this is our treble crochet, okay? And if you can see all our stitches here, that's what it looks like. And the half treble is just a smaller version of that, and we'll learn how to do that in a second. And then we did the um, double crochet last week. So these are all our stitches here. This is what it looks like up close. Um, and then we, they're basically the three stitches that we could master um, for beginner's crochet. And then from there on, any project that you will do will just be a variation um, of those stitches really. Okay, so if you can master those, again, get your squares going um, and you will be able to start any project and hopefully we'll do that soon. So I'm just going to cut my work off here now and we'll get started. And I'm going to leave this little loop here. Um, I'm finished my, my square there. Um, I'll get you started on yours and then I'll show you again um, how you close that off. Just a recap every week. So again, to get started with our stitches um, and our half treble crochet, we have, if I zoom out a little bit there, now it might be um, just a little bit easier for you. So, um, okay, so that helps a little bit. So again, here's our tail. We make a slip stitch. Again, you can make yours whichever way you want. You can make it around your finger like so, like that. Okay, that's our slip stitch. Or I'd like to make mine um, with my hook. And I'm just gonna get my hook here. So I just wrap it around my finger like so, or you can do it this way again, a loop, draw it up through the back, put your hook in and create your slip stitch. I'll just move these out of the way there now for a second. Okay, and again, we're making our chains. Your tail goes down. This is the working yarn, whichever way you can hold it is perfectly okay, starting off your point of your hook is usually looking at you um, and then to start working whatever way is comfortable for you to hold your hook so you can hold it like a pencil or you can put it um, in your hand like this whatever way again is fine so yarn around your hook draw it through we're making chains we make chains to start around and I'm going to make um, I'm going to make 20 of these again our little square or 10 centimeter square is always a good little sample piece of work for you to be doing when you're starting off um, and again I've lost count so I'm just going to keep going it doesn't matter how many I have I'll roughly guess at that stage so I'll slow it down there now again I get carried away sometimes so yarn around your hook draw it through your loop yarn around through yarn around through and just open it out there till you have roughly a little piece this size. And to start our half treble crochet, you will put your yarn around the hook and you will look now at your um, chains on your hook. So you're working into, not this one, but the one next to it. So one, two. So with the yarn around our hook like so, count back two chains, one, two. And again, if you can remember, when you're making your foundation row, you'll have a top and a bottom part to that chain. It's entirely up to yourself which part you want to start 
creating your foundation chain i like to go into the bottom part because if you look here it'll catch the whole stitch the whole chain um, on the hook for you and it kind of makes your foundation chain neater starting off but again whatever you find easier to manage when you're a beginner so to finish the half treble we put the yarn around the hook we draw it through that chain we should have three loops on our hook and to finish it yarn around through all three next one yarn around your hook into the next stitch now look at your stitches if you're getting confused as to where you should be going next you can see that you're in here if I hold that out for you you're in here so if you go back in there you put two stitches in the one stitch uh, and then as you're working along you'll be wondering why why your work is all over the place but that's very normal as I said um, in the previous tutorial starting off so don't worry but to try and identify them as you go along when you're a complete beginner let's follow the next stitch so I'm in here I need to go in this is the next top part of the chain here so the bottom part you know has to be down underneath it so in you go with your hook push it straight through yarn around draw it through three chains on your hook yarn around through all three at the one time and that finishes the half treble I'll do a couple of more of these next one there I can identify the top of the chain the bottom of the chain go into the bottom whichever way you can manage that draw through a loop three up around all three loops finishes another half treble so one more time and then I will meet you when we get down here to the very end and I'll show you what to do again after that so yarn around my hook identify my next chain in I go yarn around my hook again draw it through I have three loops on my hook yarn around through all three this is what it's starting to look like so work away along just repeating that and I'll meet you there now we're down to the end of our foundation row and I have one chain left don't forget you'll see clearly anyway if you're if you have missed going into the very last one which would have been the very first chain you'd have made starting off okay it'll be very obvious so yarn around your hook again in I go catching like this is the very first stitch of the previous round chain um, and this is what it looks like when you're working into it at the end okay and keep your tail up and over and again use your index finger and your thumb to help you control the work because this hand your hook hand will be um, just controlling the hook and your other hand depending on whether you're left-handed or right-handed um, the hand that you don't have the hook in will be helping you to hold and support your work as you're going along so to finish it up around through all three this is what it looks like turn your work okay and we're going to work back now doing exactly the same thing and all you'll have to remember then um, going back the row is that we'll have a turning chain and the turning chain if you can remember just um, obviously helps us turn our work to make it easier to work back into and it helps us to keep a straight edge when we're working on straight pieces um, like this square for example so you chain up with two for the half treble the treble if you remember was three um, we did a double last week and we did two chains and I like to just work two chains for the half treble so a half treble is literally half the size of a treble crochet um, and we have the two chain here now this is going to be our stitch these are our stitches if I open it out there you can see them individually this is the top of it so if you put it in that's what it looks like looking down on it this is what it looks like when I'm working back through it in here okay so we will yarn around our hook in we go here now before we continue that again if you can remember if you went in here by mistake if you go in here because if you look down that looks like a stitch as well that's just the base of our two chain but if you accidentally go in here all that's going to happen is you'll increase um, stitches as you're going along and if you can remember again I said your work will start going out 
um, and if you miss them your work will start going in very normal again when starting off and it's all about practice and don't be putting yourself under pressure to get it perfect um, first time around so yarn up over your hook in you go look down on it if you're not sure you have to have two loops of your stitch yarn around through my stitch I have three loops yarn around through yarn around into the next one here we go you can see them identify them there in here if you're not sure open out your work in my hook goes yarn around draw it through I have three loops on my hook yarn around through all three half treble crochet so again if you can see there if I just pull up the loop there just to start help you identifying your stitch see these three loops they were the three loops that you had on your hook before you pulled them all together to create the half treble okay and then just bring it back down like so so yarn around my hook in I go yarn around draw it through three loops yarn around through all three I'll do it one or two more times and then we'll work down to the end and I'll show you then how to start the next row and after that it's just repeating the process till you have your little square made yarn around into my stitch and do you see the way I'm holding um, the work it just it helps I think as well when you're starting off so if you kind of just let it hang out there on its own it's very difficult to you know you will feel you'll be all fingers and thumbs um, starting off so again um, just a little my little bit of advice um, is to just hold it you don't have to hold it tight and then the harder you squeeze obviously you're going to get pains in your fingers so relax into the work as well to make it easier for yourself yarn around your hook into the next stitch yarn around draw it through three loops yarn around and one more time yarn around into the next one if you look down on it that's what it looks like yarn around I hold it yarn around draw it through three loops yarn around through all three work along again and I'll show you what to do at the end of this one and we get started on our third row so this is row two now so we're down to the last um, stitch here and we have one left at the end and if you look at that so you're going to go into that with a half treble make sure you go in so if the stitch isn't very obvious from the previous round okay get your hook uh, and if you can remember I'm just going to open it out there so you can see see it this was the turning um, kind of chain we did at the start the very first part of the foundation row okay when we crocheted into the second chain from the hook it made this little loop so to speak and moving forward you'll see it clearly now on the next one that will be our um, two turning chain um, um, at the start of every round so you will have to work into that at the end of every round as in work into the top of it okay so around in I go draw it through around through three okay that's what it looks like turn your work chain two one two and again not in here in here yarn around in that's what it looks like looking down on it yarn around draw it through three loops yarn around draw it through finish my stitch yarn around into the next one and yarn around into my stitch catch my wool with my hook draw it through yarn around through all three and one more time yarn around in I go yarn around draw through three loops yarn around through all three and that's all you're going to do repeating the process the whole way along don't forget your turning chain when you're starting each row um, and I'll actually work down to the end of this row now again to show you uh, where to crochet into that very last stitch it looks like a stitch but in fact it's your turning chain so I'll work down to the end of this row um, I'll meet you there and then I'll show you 
how to just finish it off simply again when you're finished your square and we'll take it from there. Now so we're down to the last um, stitch here and we have one left at the end and if you look at that so you're going to go into that with a half treble make sure you go in so if the stitch isn't very obvious from the previous round okay get your hook um, and if you can remember I'm just going to open it out there so you can see see it this was the turning um, kind of chain we did at the start the very first part of the foundation row okay when we crocheted into the second chain from the hook it made this little loop so to speak and moving forward you'll see it clearly now on the next one that will be our um, two turning chain um, um, at the start of every round so you will have to work into that at the end of every round as in work into the top of it okay so around in I go draw it through around through three okay that's what it looks like turn your work chain two one two and again not in here in here yarn around in that's what it looks like looking down on it yarn around draw it through three loops yarn around draw it through finish my stitch yarn around into the next one and yarn around into my stitch catch my wool with my hook draw it through yarn around through all three and one more time yarn around in I go yarn around draw through three loops yarn around through all three and that's all you're going to do repeating the process the whole way along don't forget your turning chain when you're starting each row um, and I'll actually work down to the end of this row now again to show you uh, where to crochet into that very last stitch it looks like a stitch but in fact it's your turning chain so I'll work down to the end of this row um, I'll meet you there and then I'll show you how to just finish it off simply again when you're finished your square and we'll take it from there 